Yeah. Broken ways, niggas know that we stand up. Try to get paid without cops, trying to jam us. Yeah, what y'all know about these jams? All right, all right, what's happening, Kings? Today, 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 y'all wanna know why I'm in such a good ass mood? Dead ass, I'm in such a great ass mood. Your boy Happy Cliff just finished Chief Keefin. I just finished listening to some Damian Marley, and right now I'm actually about to show you this crazy ass skin fade that'll get you laid. No cap, I'm not lying. Dead ass, this shit is so fucking crispy, it'll make you even wanna pipe the nigga in the video. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. The kid in the video is my brother. I'm going to give him a haircut before y'all say anything. I see the kid 24-7. He lives in the same household as me. It's not like I'm not going to give him a haircut. You feel me? That's all what this channel's about. We all giving, we all about giving good haircuts, crispy ass trims, whatever the client wants in order to make them feel good. You feel me? In order for you to get better, this channel is about growth. I'm growing with y'all. You feel me? That's all it is. And before you dick suckers say anything, yes, I got a silky on. I do got a silky on. No, I don't have waves. No, I'm not swimming. But I got braids. You feel me? I got braids. So in order to keep everything down, you got to put the silky on. You feel me? Stop it. Get some help. But let's get to the video, y'all. You heard? Y'all really thought this quarantine was going to stop people from looking super fresh? Y'all really playing with me right now. Because even essential workers got to look good. So first off, before you do anything with any cuts, you want to make sure you want to just spray it down a little bit, a little bit. Like I said last video, you do not want to make the nigga soaking wet. He does not want to look like he just got out the fucking shower. No. Just make sure it's damp enough for you to actually comb the hair in the natural direction that it wants to go. You see how I'm... Like, I'm showing you this right now. You see that calic on the top of his head? I'm literally just combing it in the way that it's growing out. If you start off the haircut with the correct preparation, you're going to end the haircut with less complications, and you're going to save yourself so much trouble at the end. I'm telling you through experience, prepare your haircuts, prep everything before you start cutting, just to make sure that you can do everything as efficiently as you can. I'm telling you. So right here, I got my number three guard open, and I'm just running that number three all across his head, all around his head. On his specific right side of his head, I'm actually running that three all the way up to the park because that's how he actually likes it. On this side, I'm actually just running it right across the crown area because we still want some room to fade that three into that longer hair on top. So right over here, I got my uh, Andy Slim Lime Pros, my uh, trimmers, and I'm just setting in my guideline. I'm just setting it in. I'm going to start uh, right at the midpoint between the top of his ear and his uh, corner, and I'm just dipping it down over the ear and down into the head a little bit. And once I bald that out, you're going to actually see that I'm going to leave like a little bit of hair at the front of his hairline, just so when we shape it up, we're actually going to make the shape up look super crazy crispy and i'm actually about to show you guys right now or like right here right here exactly i'm leaving that part of the shape up still with hair so when i run it with the no guard open it's still gonna be a little bit darker same thing goes on the other side i'm starting about midway up about above the ear down into the head and then connecting it to the other side same step for this side as well i leave a little bit of hair in the front of the hairline i'm going to show you exactly what i'm going to do and right over here we're connecting the back of his head to the other side you want to start one head you want to start from one side of the head to the other and then work your way around make it even as you can and as y'all can see right over here, it's the same exact steps as the other side. You want to leave a little bit of hair in the front of his lineup. So when we do shape him up, that shit is going to be super fucking crispy. You feel me, dog? You feel me? 
Moving on to our second guideline, we're going to want to use our no guard to open. In this case, I'm using my Andis uh, Supreme Clippers, and I'm going up about an inch or so. The reason why you want to go up about an inch or so is because you want to give yourself enough room to blend from that... Uh, from that uh, triple zero no guard or that triple zero trimmer to that uh, open no guard, and if you give if you don't give yourself that much room to blend, then at the end of the haircut you're gonna have such a short blend. If people look at it from afar, it's gonna look like a straight fucking line with no transition, no gradiency. So right here you're gonna see I moved it from fully open, a halfway closed, a halfway open, however y'all wanna see it, and I'm just flicking out. I'm going right underneath where I went with that no guard open and you can see I'm literally using my corners y'all this is not gonna take off the take out that line that I just made not at all but it is gonna soften that line up and what we want to do is keep softening that line up until when we get to that closed position with the with the blades it'll just come out crispy and you can see right here i'm still using my corners and you want to make sure you go in super light man go in super light because if you go in digging into the niggas scalp you're not gonna be take out you're not gonna have a good time taking out any type of lines and right here i went closed all the way still using my corners y'all can see i'm still using my corners it's all in the fucking wrist y'all y'all are barbers y'all are artists be picasso be gentle and just use your corners, use your best judgment. And as you can see, I still kept going at it. If you keep going at it, you're going to eventually keep taking that line off. Just be patient, just be gentle with it as well. You don't want to create any harsh lines that you cannot get out, y'all. This is fucking extremely crucial, y'all. Because I've been there, I've done that. I've been chopped people's haircuts off that I couldn't take a fucking line out. And then at the end of the day, you feel bad. But like I said, practice is just perfect. This is just the other side of the haircut, so I don't leave you out hanging. I'm not going to show you the fading process, but I'm showing you how to connect from one side to the other. And then the rest is the same fading process. Moving into our third guy line, we're going to move that one and a half no guard up a little bit more than an inch. The reason why you want to move a little bit more than an inch is because you're actually blending from that no guard open into that one and a half and mind you if you're new to barbering you still want to give yourself enough space to bark to use the one guard and the 16th guard so you have to use those guards if you're really new because you know it's hard to blend into that uh number one with uh no guard so right here i got my number one and that is fully open and we're just going all the way right below where i made that one and a half no no or one and a half closed uh once you keep going down into the lower part of the fade getting closer to that line you want to keep gradually closing that lever right here i close it about halfway and i'm going right below where i did that one and mind you after hundreds of haircuts you're just gonna keep getting the hang of it it's a lot of muscle memory don't get discouraged and you're just gonna get the hang of it i'm telling y'all it's not that hard you just gotta put in that practice and that pain in there you feel me now i got my one guard closed all the way and i'm using my corners y'all make sure to use your corners like i said like i said use your corners or else you're not gonna be able to take out anything seriously and if you don't use your corners make sure you go in super light super fucking light i was saved by the light i was saved by the light i was saved by the light you know what this blend actually was coming out really really good you can't always be too sure you feel me so just to make sure i got my 16th guard and i'm literally using that fucking corner use that fucking corner like i'm telling y'all use that corner that's critical that is gonna help you and as you notice i'm not going everywhere wherever i just see dark spots i'm just using that corner with that 16th guard i do not want to make any lines i do not want to push the fade high and same thing with the other side just connecting that one and a half all the way to the back and then you fade everything below that the same steps you saw on that side of the head you're gonna do on the side on the other side actually and on the back to be honest a lot of people find the back part to be harder to fade just because it's more dense 
but what you want to do is just keep going over the fade. If you feel like you're not cutting anything, lower your guard, play with the lever, and keep providing the work. So right over here, I got my two guard open all the way, and I'm just going right below, or actually, I'm just bringing that shit all the way to the park. Just all the way to the park. Remember the three was just to take off both. Now I'm gonna bring the number two all the way to the part and I'm gonna bring it around the head. But on the other side, we're actually gonna bring it right above that one and a half that we did on that other side. Now to make this blend a little bit better, we're just gonna run that one and a half that's actually fully open, right below that two, right below that two, and you're just gonna want to gradually keep closing that lever closer to where you left off with that one and a half close. You feel me? It's not that hard. Just be gentle, y'all. You're gonna get through this shit. Over here in the back, I still have mad overhanging hair, you feel me? So what I was doing right here is just clipper over combing a little bit of that hair. I'm just aiming for a box type shape. That's all you want to do with men's hair care. The same rules for this side of the head as well. I just want to go for that box type shape, and I'm going from left to right. I'm going up and down, just trying to get that box shape. Right over here, we're going to start going with the top of the hair. We're going to want to always make sure that shit is damp. Like I said, you do not want to make the nigga soaking wet. He did not just get out the shower. The nigga did not just come out the beach. He's getting a fucking haircut. So you as the barber, make sure that your client is comfortable. Always, always make sure your client is comfortable, bro. Right over here, we're taking about, I would say, like a half an inch or so off the top of the head. So I would say we're going four fingers all around, even to the top, all the way to the back of the head, all the way till you get to the other side of his head. Just keep watching the video. Watch how I'm working my way from the front all the way to the back. Once you finally reach the other side of his head, there's still going to be some overhang. So in order to get rid of this overhang, you're just going to grab little bits and sections of his hair, as you see in the video, and start snipping all that extra shit off. You see all that extra hair that I'm snipping off? That's all you want to do. Just keep going until you see that it's okay until you feel as a barber that you've given a good blend until you feel like there's nothing else you can do to make it better or in your skill set you feel me as long as you try your best as long as you're doing your best keep going keep doing you don't let anyone discourage you you're just gonna keep going stronger from there you feel me God damn, this boy is looking good. Moving on to his hairline, we're just cutting any extra shit that was there with the scissors. And honestly, whenever I do the hairline, I always like to start from the middle and then work my way either right or left, depending on where I'm standing. You see how I'm just taking my time. I'm just tapping and going. I'm just tapping and going. Keep that at a straight line, don't move it too high up, don't move it too far down, and just keep adjusting it, just keep adjusting it, be steady with it. Me personally, I have super fucking shaky hands, so honestly, I don't even know why I'm borrowed, I'm deadass about to quit, <laughs> I'm deadass about to quit, but now nah, I'm fucking with y'all, but just be steady, if you have to use two hands, use two hands. It's not a race, you just want to make sure it comes out crisp and clean even. Always make sure to dust off your clients too, just so you can see what you're working with. You saw how I just worked my way from the corner back into the middle, and I'm just lining up that box part for him too, using his head as a balancing point for my hands, because like I said, my hands are super fucking shaky, I don't even know why I'm a barber. 
and I'm just going over that hairline again. Just going over it until I feel like it is good, until it is good for me. So my client is good, he feels good as well, you know? It's just all about confidence, it's just all about feeling great after you get out of that chair, no matter where you are. And starting off, besides the hairline, I feel like starting off as a barber, that hook that I'm doing right now is probably the hardest shit to master. First, I like to start at that corner part and make my line, and then work from the bottom up and just trace it out. I imagine that hook in my head, and then trace what I see in my head with the corner of my edges like a fucking pencil, y'all. Y'all are artists. I keep saying this, and I'm not gonna stress this more. Or I am gonna stress this more, and y'all gonna keep hearing this. Y'all are artists, y'all. Create things, y'all. Visualize shit in your head, and you make it into some type of reality. And here's the other side, like I said, I'm just tapping and going, I'm just tapping and going, making sure I'm not pushing him too far back, because honestly, I might be pushing him very, very little, but that's only to make sure it is sharp. It's not going to grow all bad, and I didn't push him too far back. Like I said, you're just tapping and going, you're just tapping and going, taking your time. If you don't take your time, I'm telling you, you guys are going to fuck up. And when y'all fuck up, y'all about to be like, yo, this nigga Hobby Clips told me, boy, I should've fucking listened. I should've listened to this kid. So right here, we're doing his eyebrows. I like doing people's eyebrows with my trimmers first. So I can set myself kind of like a draft. Once when I go over with the razor, it's going to look crispy. And he, my brother, actually has really good eyebrows. His eyebrows are super thick. He already has a natural shape to his eyebrows. Like I said, you do not want to push the nigga back. Do not make his eyebrows thinner than what it already is. Do not change the shape of his eyebrows. Just go with the natural shape that they have. If you do that, then there's not going to be a problem. The nigga's not going to look funny. He's not going to be looking like Bozo. And he's actually going to be really full of confidence right after. As you can see, I'm not going too far. I'm not pushing anything back. I'm just going with the natural silhouette of his eyebrows. The nigga has great eyebrows, you know? You don't want to fuck him up. Approaching that middle part of his eyebrow, the uni part, the unibrow, it's hard. The best advice I can say is don't push it too back, don't push it too far back. Just go with the natural alignment of his nose. That's all it is. Right here, I'm just applying a little bit of shaving cream. So when I do run over the shape up with the razor, it's not going to irritate him. It's not going to cut him. And it's just going to sm smoothly glide over. And with any razor work, you always want to be pulling away from the skin. Like I said, giving a good ass haircut, nothing's going to ruin a haircut. Like a barber cutting you in your fucking neck or your scalp or forehead or whatever you can't be going out there with a crispy haircut and leaving with dirty scars on the fucking back of your neck you know so be gentle y'all be gentle keep pulling the skin and make sure make sure you know exactly where you're cutting to same thing with the eyebrows you just want to go with that natural silhouette you don't want to push it too far back and you want to keep pulling that skin keep pulling that skin y'all Hey, yo, <laughs> but keep pulling that skin, y'all. Keep pulling the skin <laughs> and make sure you don't cut it, bro. Be careful, especially in small crevices like that. When you get into small crevices like that, use the edge of your blade because it's smaller and it's less likely that you're going to cut him. Barbers, once y'all think that the haircut is done, once y'all think y'all finished, go back and revisit that fade. Go back and revisit that shape up. Go back and revisit the top. 
do what you gotta do, take care of what you gotta take care of, and at the end of the day, your client is going to appreciate that. Your client is gonna see that you took the time to go back to the haircut, fix any little thing, fix any any little detail, and your clients are gonna take care of you if you take care of them. That's all part of the game. Treat your people right, and you're gonna get treated right back. You're going to get treated good if you treat people good. And right here, I'm just going over any little detail that I gotta do. Once I felt like I was good with the haircut, he was looking crisp. And God damn, look at him right here. It's mid skin fade comb over with a little bit off the top and some eyebrow work as well. Jesus Christ. And remember when I was telling y'all in the beginning to leave a little bit of hair in the front of his shape up so it looks crispy? Look at that shit right there. No enhancements, nothing. Crisp. Did I not tell you that shit was going to come out crazy? Did I really not tell you that was going to come out super crisp? You saw the whole haircut in full depth. It wasn't anything too crazy either. Like I said, it wasn't... Hold up. The fuck? Give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Hello? You. Kill. What's up, big head? Yo, you dead ass, my nigga? Bro, I told you to stop calling you, bro. Yo, what's up, big head? Why, why haven't you picked up? Come on, why haven't you talked to me lately? Come on, man. Why haven't you talked to me lately, big head? My nigga, I'm filming a video for YouTube right now. You don't... My nigga, I told you this, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Let me... Let me... Turn on your clippers, please. I just, I just want to hear the sound of it. I missed you. Come on, bro. That's fucking weird, bro. Can you stop calling me like that, bro? I told you. It's 50 bucks for a haircut. Come just pull on, up. Please, please, please. Just just use those scissors. Snip it. Put it. Put it nah, bro. That's fucking weird. I'm hanging up, bro. That's fucking weird, bro. Dead ass. Yo, fuck. My bad, y'all. Dead ass. My bad, y'all. This is a crazy ass. Yo, it's a long ass. Yo, bro, ever since quarantine happened, all these niggas is doing is calling me and asking me to turn on my clippers, bro. And put it next to the phone. Y'all gotta stop with that weird shit. <laughs> that ass. Y'all really gotta stop with that weird shit. Seriously. But anyway, crispy ass fade to get you laid. I told y'all he's about to look crazy. Y'all could do this at the crib. Y'all can show your barber or whoever to do this haircut for you step by step. I'll put it all in the video. If y'all got any questions, put it down in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe, holla at your boy, alright? I'm gonna catch y'all later. Collected rings like I'm Sonic. Bitches wanna.